Welcome guys, welcome back. We're here at Jakita Bait and Tackle. Um, just quickly on the previous video, um, I built this trace. So now in this video, I'm going to show you a bait to use with this trace. So it's going to be a throw bait and a combination bait for drone, for drone fishing. Once again, I use this little steel you can buy separately for your, especially your throw baits. I'm using um, the frigate, if I'm not mistaken, it's also called the Eastern Tuna. Um, so let's see here. size of my throw bait so you measure it like this so just make a little cut here your bottom piece where your sinker is going to clip on. I'm just going to tie this down. Yo, look at the blood. Yo. Where's your 13.5 watt There we go. <laughs> Perfect throw bait for bronzy. Any big shark. So I'm going to show you what you do with, your, with that sinker. I usually do, I just bend that little piece back. Okay, so once this hit the water, it will just cut loose. Okay, there we go. That's how you're gonna cast this one. Anything from a six to an eight ounce sinker, you can cast this thing. Look at all the blood in this, this little tuna. Even you can cast this a mile. Okay, so, so obviously you're gonna you hook your sinker onto your clip it onto your bait for casting. I just want to show you once more. There we go. This is for casting. Okay, so you can cast this bait a mile um, for the guys. For the guys that use the drone, what I do is leave the bait just as is. Um, I use the long boom sinker. Um, the reason why is when you drone out, you go two, three, four hundred meters, lots of current at the back, and this sinker will help to you know set your bait so that it doesn't move around. You can use up to seven, eight, nine, ten ounce. And what I do is here, I just make my sinker trace much shorter. Okay, so up to here, and remember to use like 17 kilogram line, otherwise with the current it will just swirl over your sinker line and, and it will just pull loose and you'll lose your sinker. So don't use too light sinker line on this, quite heavy, 17 kilograms, so look at this now, look where my sinker is now, okay. So now what I do is, with the guys with the drone fishing, on the end here, it's about two meters. So on the end swivel here, um, where your main leader comes on from the fishing rod, what I do is just take a drop loop. Just want to show you what I do is 
just make a quick proper loop. So we just make a normal loop loop knot here. There we go. And this dropper loop goes onto your top swivel where your leader line goes. You tie it on here. Okay. So just look at this. There we go. Here's your dropper loop. So you've got your line going towards your, your fishing rod. This is your dropper loop that goes onto your drone. So when you pick this whole thing up, everything is away from the props. And uh, this will go up in the air, go up, go up, and it hangs like this. And it's all, everything is away from your, from your props, from the drone. Don't tie it onto the sinker. It can make a swivel effect. And you can, the whole rig can just make a, like a slingshot and it can go into the props and you can lose your drone. Okay, so there's two setups, one for casting, one for drone. Um, like and subscribe and I really hope you enjoyed the video.